We're now going to have a look at disproof by counterexample. That's proving a statement wrong by finding an example in which it doesn't work. So this question here asks, is the following statement true or false? If false, give a counterexample. So we're looking for a particular number for which this statement doesn't work. So it's saying cube numbers cannot end in a 9. So it's our job to search for a cube number that does end in a 9 to disprove that statement. A way we can make this easier is by using the table function on our calculator. So there it is there. What I want you to do is press menu and then scroll down to the table function which is option 9. Press equals to enter into that. And we're looking for cube numbers so we're going to enter f of x equals x cubed into there. So to get the x press alpha, there it is there. Then above the bracket there's an x. Cubed. Okay. Press equals to enter that. So we've got the option to put another function in, but we're not going to do that. We don't need that. Just leave it blank. Press equals. Let's start at 1, end at 5, yeah? Go from 1 cubed up to 5 cubed, and go up at 1s. So looking at that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, we still haven't found 1. But with this new calculator, rather than having to go through the whole process again, what we can do, scroll down the blank space, then press equals. At that point, it'll go to the next number for us. Equals again. Equals again. So it's going up every time we press equals. Ah, we found one. 729. So our answer would be false. Because 9 cubed equals 729. And that saved a lot of time.